Good morning, everybody. Another day is here. It's here right now, and we're going to call it Tuesday. We've got a delivery this morning into Winnipeg. Got to be there for 8 a.m. So I'm just warming up the truck right now. And in the meantime, I came to check it out. Here's trailer 603. It's all tied down, which I'm glad. Usually these roll tight trailers, we leave all the equipment with the trailer. Whereas a flatbed or step deck like this, the driver uses his own equipment and takes it with him when he goes. And then I would put my own equipment and tie it down with my equipment. I like that a lot better because then all of the, the trailers, when they get brought to the yard, they stay secured and I don't have to worry about, you know, finding equipment to tie it down, but it's just my own personal opinion. I like pulling these roll tights a lot. Uh, I like them. I find them fascinating trailers because I've never pulled them in the last, well, I've been driving since 2006 and I just started pulling them in the last month or two and it's like a flatbed trailer, but with a cover so you never have to tarp you just roll it closed and hit the road but you still have to secure the load like you would on one of those so that's why i came here quick in my pickup to check uh, i'm here in the loaded lineup it's all ready to go my truck's over on the other side of the yard just warming up right now i figured i'd make myself useful instead of just sitting around twiddling my thumbs while it warms up i don't like to start it up and just give her and hit the road right away so it's a diesel engine you should do that with your gas engine too but it's it's more so with the diesel engine uh, it's even more important i should say because a diesel engine needs to get the coolant warmed up it needs to get the engine warmed up before it starts pulling so i like to give it at least 15 minutes to idle in the morning when it's been cold at night and during the summer as well too usually just to get the the fluid running actually in winter time it's sometimes it takes even longer than that to warm up but at least a good 15 minute idle when you first start it up in the morning and then she's usually ready to go out there and kick some butt. So let's go say hi to her, shall we? I left her over there all by herself. What kind of man am I? Today is gonna to be a good day. You wanna know why? Because it's a day that ends in Y. Every day that ends in Y is a good day, right? Right? Just waiting for this guy off to my left to make his little loop. He's trying to make a U-turn and I don't wanna be in his way. Or he's trying to get out of his spot or something. The main gate fell off its track this morning. So that's gonna cause chaos in the yard all day. They're gonna have to get that thing fixed pretty quick. <laughs> There's gonna be a big buildup. I was one of them. I came up to the gate and just sat there. What's going on? Why won't it open? Brendan had to come over and tell me how oh, she fell off her tracks. There's our girl right there. I'm just gonna do a little loop. Oh, oh. There she is. There she was. Back her in here right beside her. Be careful not to let my tires slip into those ruts that haven't been filled up yet. <laughs> there we go. They'll wait till the ground is finished uh, being confused. Right now it's springtime, so one day it's soft, the next day it's all hard, the next day it's soft, the next day it's all hard. Shife and crooked here, but whatever. It'll work. So the truck should be just about ready to go. And I'm sure they'll have someone there working on that gate right away. It happens. Everything breaks. Everything needs maintenance, so... Uh, at least we have a second gate here, right? So it's not like we're all locked out of the yard. Alright, let's go. Ugh. tell 
when she's warmed up because she's an old truck and when she's cold she runs a little bit rough but as soon as she warms up she smooths right out so that's my gauge of how I know when she's good to go she's not quite there yet it'll probably be another like two minutes she's an old truck I just like to think she's very much like me you know we're good friends co-workers work buddies we both don't like mornings but you gotta get up and get at it anyways you feel good once you start working it's just the getting up part of it you just got to remember in your head that it's gonna feel good once you're working it's gonna feel good once you're being productive but getting out of bed and getting moving is sometimes a little different not every day, but sometimes. And just, sometimes it'd be nice to get an extra, I don't know, six hours of sleep. Oh, but there's too much work to do, even on the weekends. You know I mean? We're working at the land every weekend, pretty much. And on Sundays, we've got stuff going on. And once we have kids, I'm going to completely forget what it's like to sleep in. So I may as well get used to it now. up airing up the system signals are working air in those tires air in those tires air in these tires yes signals working mud flaps in place oh oh yeah these mud flaps are new we got those mud flaps there freaked me out I just saw this bar here I was like oh shoot missing a mud flap Nope, they just put them back there. That way they don't get ripped off when, if you accidentally bump into a curb when you're parking. I like that. Bonus, they're all filled with air. Nice. Signals are all working. Fantastical, all right. Let's go kick some butt. I've got all the, the straps off the trailer and got the curtains or the, the cover rolled all the way to the front, they're gonna unload the back of the trailer first. And once they're done with that, I'm gonna roll it back so they can get what's at the front of the trailer yet. And then I'll button her up and we'll head back. Another successful Trucker Josh delivery and another happy customer. They were really happy to see me and I guess they were waiting for this stuff. We just uh, picked it up yesterday, I believe, yesterday afternoon. Uh, this came down from Arburg, from up in uh, the inner lake of Manitoba, so about two hours north of here. And uh, another driver went to pick it up. I was supposed to go pick this up yesterday, but uh, my morning, because of that tractor that we couldn't get started, it took too long, so they had to send another driver up there to pick this up. But he did a good job with it, secured it all nicely. So I just hooked up to it this morning and brought it the rest of the way to the, the happy customer here. And uh, I think my truck is uh, freaking out here. Look at this. Apparently, according to my truck, it's 100, minus 120 degrees outside. And very dusty inside. Yeah, look at this. What is going on with me? I was in a bit of a rush this morning. I didn't have a, a chance to dust everything. I just hooked up and booked it out the door. And look at us kicking butt. Kicking Tuesday's butt right here. Put my back where it belongs. Yeah, so uh, this thermometer doesn't work. I was gonna show you it sometime. Uh, every once in a while, it doesn't do it every time, so it's hard to catch it. But I, I turn the truck on and it freaks out for like five minutes saying, no, it's minus 20. No, it's plus 140. No, it's minus 80. No, it's only plus one. No, I think it's zero. No, it's minus 120 again. <laughs> I don't think it's quite that cold outside. I mean, it's we, we still got some snow over there but uh i'm pretty sure it's not negative 120. just going out on a limb here and guessing
and that's that. Okay, so this morning, I noticed that the third axle was down on this trailer. I don't think it needed to be, but again, I was in, uh, I was in a bit of a rush to get going this morning, so I just left it down. It's not illegal or bad if it is down. Triaxle is a triaxle. It just wears out the trailer a little further. So I'm gonna lift it up since we're now empty and there's no reason to have it on the ground. For that, we gotta go all the way back up here. And put them up. There we go, that airbag fills with air, pushing the axle up. The actual airbags then deflate just on this axle so that it can go up. And there you go, less wear and tear on the truck and you're burning less fuel. Like I was saying though, there's nothing illegal about having all three down all the time. It's just, uh, if you do have all three down, why? Maybe uh, you're not paying for the tires, maybe that's why. <laughs> but uh, I always put them on. And off we go. I'm told that van division has something for us when we get back. It takes about 45 minutes, 45 to 50 minutes to get home from here. Or not home, but get back, get this truck home. This is the exact same place we were at yesterday. Not the same drop off, but the exact same street. A little bit of a blind corner here, because those trees block what's coming that way, but it gives us enough time. But over here, you got the road curving around that way. So we're gonna go now and slowly watch this. Nobody's coming from there. There we go. What are these guys doing? distance over there from the other street they looked like two cops sitting there like, what are you doing I got nothing for you part two of today Pulling this box up to too long. Let's roll those up before I forget. I always do this first. And if I put it off and do something else, like do my freight trip first, it throws me off. I've got to do everything in the order that I'm used to. Okay, we should turn our... Uh, Signals on first, so we can check that they're working. Okay. Rolled up. Marker light and signal working. Tires. Filled with air. Filled with air. Mud flap in place. Marker light's working, signal's working. Marker light and signal light working over there. Yes! They're all filled with air. Love it. Love it. Okay, look up. Don't forget. Always want to follow the rules. How's, how's it looking? Not too bad. Not too bad. A quick sweep and we'll be on our way. I've seen a lot worse. 
This means to look up at the latches there to make sure that they're latched in. Because if you don't double check very often, they don't actually latch in. And then the trailer doors aren't secure going down the highway. And that's not good. Might get you a ticket. From one truck to the next. Don't be mad at me, okay? I forgot you guys here. I got over halfway home and I had to turn around and come back. I thought I had you guys with the rest of my stuff and suddenly I figured, you know what? I had a feeling, maybe I should check it out. So I pull over and I go through my stuff in the back. Right here with my bag and everything. Oh, my bag's still all over the place. My lunch kit and everything else. And I could find everything except the camera. I knew I had it in my hand. I knew I had it in my hand. So I searched the whole truck twice. The only other place you guys could be was the semi. So I came all the way back here hoping, hoping that you guys would be here. And yep, you guys had, I guess, fallen off of my, uh, or out of my bag or whatever, onto the floor in the big truck. And you were just sitting there Hanging out, minding your own business, having a good time. Had no idea that you, you were left behind, nothing. You guys got to stop doing that to me. Looks like they fixed the gate. Yep. I wonder if they fixed it themselves or if they had to get, like, the gate doctor to come in and fix her up. It's not the first time this gate is broken. <laughs> it's a big gate, and you know, it gets used quite often. We have to keep it closed all day. Uh, we can't just leave it open. We have to keep our yard secure. So it's opening and closing, opening and closing, opening and closing every day, day after day after day. Tomorrow, my whole day is marked out for me already. There's a load of shingles I have to deliver first thing in the morning into Winnipeg. And then after that, there's uh, two pickups I got to go and get. One up in Toulon, one in Arburg again. That'll be on a roll tight trailer. And that'll probably take, yeah, that'll take the whole day mostly. I may have time for another like local delivery when I get back, but I'm, I'm guessing that's going to be the whole day. So I like that. I like knowing what I'm doing the next day. Not that it matters. I mean, I can find out in the morning too. It doesn't really matter. At least now I know where I gotta be and when, you know? So let's go home. I got everything this time, for real. At least I better. If I forgot anything else, we'll get it in the morning. I'm not going back again. <laughs>